a century, Ontario has taken advantage of its geography and water resources to generate electricity. It's a fairly simple process, which is why it's been around so long and proven so reliable. Hello, I'm Drew Hayden Taylor, and this is the Bracebridge Falls generating station on the Muskoka River. Water from upstream flows into the station and is directed past turbines, which capture the great force of flowing water. The turbine is spun by this force and turns a shaft which is connected to a generator. Inside the generator are magnets and coils of copper wire. The spinning motion from the turbine excites electrons in the copper coils, resulting in the flow of electricity. What separates a small water power site of one megawatt or less from a mighty one like Niagara is the amount of flowing water available and the distance which it falls. It doesn't matter whether a water power generating facility produces less than one megawatt of electricity or 2,000. They all generate electricity the same way, through the powerful and renewable energy of flowing water. As a source of energy, water power has many advantages. It produces few greenhouse gas emissions. It's highly efficient and reliable. As long as the water flows, the electricity does too. We manage the uh, reliable supply of electricity on a minute-to-minute -minute basis, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the province of Ontario. Uh, water power has always been and still is in a critical part of operating uh, power system reliably. Its uh, main feature is its, its flexibility and uh, it has a lot of characteristics that make it very, very valuable, in fact critical for system operation. It's extremely fast acting. It can be loaded up and down very quickly, much more quickly than any other generators. It can be stored, at least the water can be stored, so it can be used at the time that uh, makes it most valuable. Uh, it can start and stop on a dime, it can start uh, um, after a blackout and be used to restore the system as was the case back in, in 2003. Beyond generating clean, renewable energy, water power facilities in Ontario are also managed in an environmentally responsible way. Every water power facility has a plan in place to ensure that, while producing electricity, the facility's operation is balanced with other environmental, social and economic considerations. If operators uh, and managers of water power facilities can try to strike a balance between what they need and how to maintain uh, a healthy ecosystem, then water power can be a sustainable form of generating electricity. Another important aspect of water power are the many economic benefits provided to the communities and industries they serve, as well as to the province of Ontario. Ontario water power producers invest $250 million annually in operating and maintenance costs. In the past decade alone, they have made additional capital investments of $400 million to bring new water power online. Today, Ontario's water power producers directly employ more than 1,600 people and support an additional 2,000 jobs. And with new investment already underway, there is a bright future for employment opportunities in Ontario's electricity sector. Ontario's water power industry contributes more than $140 million a year in resource royalties to the Ontario government. Water power has stood the test of time. Its economic and social benefits are clear and we are continually improving our understanding on how to better manage the effects on aquatic ecosystems and other values. That is why Ontario is actively exploring opportunities to sustainably develop additional water power generating capacities. We've seen a light and it comes from water power. <laughs>